Welcome back everybody to Man Meets Garage. My name is Larry and on this YouTube channel we restore, rebuild, build and fix anything that has to do with automotive. So if you guys like any of that, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up on my videos. On today's episode, we're going to be working on Tesla. It needs a little suspension work, so stay tuned. All right, this is a 2014 Model S. Uh, love the car, we've had it for a while already. Um, but not long ago, my friend uh, Slava, we were kind of hanging around. Um, he was looking at the car and he noticed that the wheel, the rear uh, passenger wheel, was not centered in the wheel well. And I'm like, no, maybe it's just the way we're looking at it or so. So we kind of measured out the um, wheel base from the front wheels to the rear, and it's about a half an inch, um, the wheel's actually sitting forward. So I took the car to the Lyman shop, and uh, the Lyman was great, the car was beautiful in the green, zeros, everything's fine. But when I was driving the car, I felt anytime I would go over a bump or some kind of a hill or so, my car would kind of do the swerving. If you guys look between here, I can probably fit in two fingers between the wheel well and the actual tire and wheel. If we go on the driver's side, get about three fingers in and anytime you would actually press on the rear end of the um, Tesla the alignment would actually offset and be all incorrect it would start going into the red so we kind of started looking underneath and we noticed that the um, upper control arm was actually bent I, I don't know how or, or whatever and he's like well it might be your lower control arm so I'm like you know what I'll probably just order um, full suspension, and that's what I did. I ordered the upper control arm, the lower control arm, and the spindle, and we're gonna be changing that out, so stay tuned. I think what I'll start off doing is actually undoing the lower control arm um, and start off with that because I don't think it's the upper control arm it might be the lower control arm that um, got bent I don't know it's pretty hefty guys look at this thing um, so we'll give it a try we'll undo the uh, lower control arm and we'll see if the suspension will shift or anything if not, then we'll keep going and start taking everything apart until I figure out what's going on with it. Let me show you. Um, so, this is me actually looking straight at a, the uh, suspension. And you can see how the control arm is sitting angled instead of it sitting nice and straight. So you can see everything kind of shifted over forward. It's about a half an inch or so. Alright, the only way that I could uh, pretty much take everything off um, on this car is Tesla is very interesting because everything's electric. Um, so you got to pretty much figure out um, You got to jack the car up as you guys seen in the video and then you got to put it into towing mode You got to make sure there's blocks underneath the front wheel so it won't roll and then that will release um, both of the calipers for the um, For the wheel pretty much to be free and spinning once I did that um, I kind of loosened up all the bolts and then I um, I got my shock out and now just taking apart the uh, control arms and figuring out this um, spindle, I guess, and how to take off the, um, the rotor. Thank you. 
this was uh, pretty tough. <laughs> wasn't easy to uh, remove. A lot of uh, suspension, control arms, um, oh, sensors. So here's um, my new spindle. There's the old one. So I'm just going to take off this lower control arm here. Put the uh, new one on. And then remove everything off of this spindle. And attach everything to this guy here. There we go. We're gonna um, remove everything off of the spindle and bolt everything back onto the new spindle and bolt it into the car. Alright, so I finally got the uh, spindle in, um, just got the lower control arm attached and one of the upper bolts. Pretty tough, uh, not easy. <laughs> Everything's so heavy on this car. Oh, now, start hooking, connecting all the bolts and nuts all back together. Alright, most of the uh, bolts and nuts are already in for uh, the upper control arms and the lower control arms. Now we're going to get this uh, shock in. It's going to be a tough one. But let's do it. I know this is probably not safe. I didn't have any clamps right now with me. Uh, but I did double looped. It's pretty, um, pretty high strength um, rope just to kind of compress my shocks a little bit. But I know people, it's not safe, but I'll get my clamps. I didn't have them right now. So I got everything um, bolted in. The only thing that's left is the rear um, nut right here. And so what I'll do is I'll go put the car back into park. These brake calipers will um, tighten up on the rotor and that's pretty much it.
just imposing some personal sanctions on some Russian military doesn't mean much to but they're not allowed. All right, I don't know if you guys remember um, first video that I did. These upper control arms were kind of sitting at an angle, kind of about this way, about the, about this much. It was actually kind of a lot here. Didn't look like a lot around here by the uh, wheel and the wheel well, but they're nice and straight now. As soon as we get the um, wheel on, actually the fender liner, and then the wheel, we'll measure out. We'll see. I'm gonna go for a quick test drive right now, but I want to show you guys. Um, last time I only could fit two fingers, now I can get three. I'll measure out tomorrow. Um, it's kind of late, I think it's 11 o'clock p.m. Uh, make sure everything's aligned. I'll take you to the alignment shop, get it aligned one more time, make sure everything's good. I'll let you guys know right now. Go to test drive. Alright, the test drive was awesome. I'm really happy with the suspension fix. Um, I know I have to change because I don't want to sit in a uh, clean car with my dirty clothes. But you guys, thank you for watching uh, Man Meets Garage. Thank you for watching this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you guys like what you see, what I'm doing here. Also, um, I already started working on the Porsche's front floor pans. Did a little work on the motor. So stay tuned for another episode.